Hi there, and welcome to the very first episode of Indie Author Connection. I am Ivo Lettercast, and for those of you who are joining us for the first time, which I think is going to be every single person listening to this podcast, um, I want to give you just sort of a an overview of what this channel is about. So this podcast is for any listeners looking to expand their support for small name creators and discover tomorrow's bestsellers today. In each episode, I introduce you to new indie authors from a wide range of genres in fiction and nonfiction, as well as graphic novels and web comics. And I'm thinking of even introducing people who are coming up with uh, tabletop games and other exciting, you know, small creator type stuff. So if there are things you wanna see um, or something you have that you want to be featured on my podcast, uh, feel free to leave a comment and uh, and I'll give it a, a look, you know? Um, all right, so each episode features a new author and you'll be able to learn about their works, what they've got coming up, what they've got going on right now, um, as well as to subscribe to this podcast. And if they have any type of like contact um, or social media, you can subscribe to them. And if you subscribe to my website, ilettercast.com, um, you'll be entered for a chance to receive a copy of our next interviewee's book completely free. All right. So um, that's, uh, that's how we're going to start it. Um, let's go ahead and invite Nikita onto the webcast and go ahead and send her a message here. There you go. Technology. <laughs> yes, technology. Um, how are you doing today? I am doing all right. How about you? Doing really well. Um, all right. So as I already mentioned, today we are interviewing Nikita Spook, who has been writing in the science fiction and fantasy genres for six years um, and currently has three books out and she is working on her fourth. So Nikita, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to the audience and tell us a little bit about you and your story stories, plural. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so hi, yeah, I'm Nikita. Um, like a lot of writers, I think I get a little camera shy, microphone shy, etc, which is part of why I write instead of doing, you know, acting or voiceovers. Um, sorry if I get a bit flustered. Um, okay, so I got a degree in creative writing. Um, and I wanted to use it to copy edit. Like that was my dream job, you know? I get to read books before they're published and I'm gonna get paid for it. Okay, sign me up. Um, so that was what I planned to do. And then life kind of took a turn and that didn't happen. But about 10 years after I got my degree, um, I finally had this idea um, for a book that I wanted to read and it didn't exist. So I had just gotten into fan fiction about a year before that and like, okay, you know what? I can do this. Um, so I started writing and, uh, about six months after that, I published my first book and then, um, the second and third were, um, six to eight months after each, um, one of those. Um, okay, wow. So you ended up not really like going in that direction initially right up front, but now here you are and that's like super exciting. It's like that's yeah. one heck of a story you've got. <laughs> um, so as an author then, now that you're kind of there, um, what is your goal? Like what are you trying to do with your books? Do you have anything that like really drives you or inspires you to put words out there um, for the world to, to see? I am similar to you in that um, I write the books that I want to read because they're just, they don't exist. Yeah, um, so I mean, it's, I guess my goal with writing is pretty simple. There's, yes, like if a book that I want to read is not out there yet, then I'm, I can put it out there. I have the skills and the connections that I need to do that. Um, but I think the biggest thing is that I want to make people feel something. Like that's why I publish them instead of just writing them and maybe printing them out and putting them on my bookshelf. Uh, I want to make people feel something. Um, 
laughter, tears, joy, dreams, hope, whatever. I think making someone feel something, giving someone a way to connect to these emotions through other characters and other worlds is like one of the most important things that people can do. And there's so many ways to do that, but for me, that's that's writing. I think that's like really beautiful. <laughs> um, wow, okay. So the book that, in, you know, speaking of characters and books and emotions, um, the book that you wanted to talk about today, um, which is your fourth one that's currently in the works, right? Yes. So that's called Prophecy of Tarmot. Tarmot, am I saying that right? Tarmot. Tarmot, okay. Um, so that's a really intriguing name. Um, why don't you go ahead and give us like a little bit more about what your plot is, like an appetizer, you know, like okay. give us a taste of the world of your characters. Uh, so this next book I'm writing is a young adult fantasy novel. Um, it's about a high school senior, Tess, who basically gets fed up enough with things going wrong in her life that she follows a complete and total stranger through a magic portal after he tells her that she's going to save the world. Oh my goodness. Like, she's not an impulsive person, particularly. <laughs> so this is out of character, but she's just done. Um, and so then, you know, there's this teenager and she's supposed to save a whole world. And meanwhile, she keeps getting fixated on the fact that she's late for math class and um yeah uh and so then uh Tess is by and her love interest um I'm not going to spoil that but uh <laughs> there is LGBTQIA plus rep in the book and um that's really important to me and as an own voices thing so um representation is important that is awesome um okay so gonna jump a little bit off script here if you're okay with that um so I guess is this a continuation of your previous series the muted trilogy no so the muted trilogy stands alone and that's complete um and that's a I wanted books that felt like young adult novels but where the protagonists weren't you know 17 <laughs> Um, I was starting to feel pretty creepy, especially when there was a romance angle with reading, I think the book that finally tipped me over the, the main characters were 14 and 15 and it was just like, oh my goodness, they're so young. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so like, well, I'm going to do this. And by definition, like technically that could go into new adult, but new adult tends to all be very, um, explicitly adult and mine are not <laughs> so what would your target audience look like then like who would benefit best from reading your book um so the the already published ones are really for like 15 to 65 um, okay. people who like uh, kind of softer science fiction um not the heavy on details, but the heavy on imagination. Um, like Anne McCaffrey does science fiction in kind of a fantasy style. And it's like that. Okay. Um, there is a reason that I self-published these novels. And that's partly because, hey, it's like young adult, but it's also like adult. And hey, it's like science fiction, but it's also like fantasy. Gets really difficult to market. So I figured I would put them out there. They exist. Um, they're rated well. People who read them tend to like them. Um, so yeah, and then, so the next book is young adult and super original, right? The, there's the theme of not fitting in. So if you feel like you don't fit in, you might enjoy this book, especially if you like magic and other magical races and representation and all that. And queer topics too, I think yes. there are, I think we're coming into an age where there are more uh, decently representative uh, books, but they're still a little bit hard to come by ones that aren't, I don't want to say cliche because that's not the right phrase, but um, stereotypical, I guess, would yeah. be a good one. Two-dimensional. Yeah, two-dimensional. Yeah. Okay, well, that's super exciting. So um, mm -hmm. 
all of that said, is there one thing you could, like, if you could tell your readers anything, like, what would you say to them? Um, so if you have an author who's touched your life in some way, let them know. Um, write a review, leave a comment, send them a note, email, whatever, um, because like, authors can seem, especially for a book you really love, right? Authors can seem so larger than life and intimidating and we're really not we're here we're people we're scared of talking to people um, <laughs> but we want to hear from you anyway because that's why we put our stuff out there and it makes us feel so good um yeah okay um so where can your audience find your work you mentioned you did self-publishing mm -hmm. so um are there paperbacks ebooks what's it look like Yep, so uh, the Muted Trilogy is available in paperback form um, at most online retailers, Okay. Um, including Amazon. Uh, the ebook is currently only available on Amazon. It's on Kindle and Kindle Unlimited. Um, so if you've got the Kindle Unlimited, you can check them out for free, which is awesome. Awesome. Um, and because it's on Kindle Unlimited, it's currently an Amazon exclusive, but I do intend to get around to reformatting the books so that I can include them in digital libraries, which is really important to me. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so where could they find links? You can check out my website at mutedauthor.com. That's M-U-T-E-D-A-U. T H O R dot com. Okay. Um, and do you have any social media that you'd like them to follow, like YouTube channels or Twitter, Instagram? Yeah, they're all linked on my website. I do have a Facebook, a Twitter. Um, I don't have an Instagram. I do have a rarely used Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and actually, you mentioned that you wanted to give away a free signed copy of the first book in your mm -hmm. trilogy, Mute, um, to one of our fans here. At present, we have zero subscribers, um, but that's okay because when they subscribe, then we'll have like a book to give them. So yeah. why don't you go ahead and uh, tell them how they can get a hold of uh, that free copy. Uh, so all you need to do is subscribe at highlettercast.com, and I'm sure that Ivo will have a link for you on that. Um, and there's no purchase necessary to win. You just have to be 18 or older. Um, every month, I'm going to randomly pick a mailing list subscriber to win a free signed book. So be on the lookout for an email announcing the winner. Uh, they'll pull your shipping and everything, and you'll get a brand new book to read right at your doorstep. That is awesome. All right. Um, that's, that is correct. That is how, how you do the thing. Um, and this is the, uh, it's kind of a pilot program for an indie author monthly subscription service that I'm kind of wanting to try out, but we obviously need audience participation and support in order to get it running. Um, so for all you listeners out there, tell your friends to get the word out there, um, for indie authors everywhere, because everybody who's been featured on my podcast, as well as others who maybe don't have time to come on the podcast, um, their books will be available in that monthly um, indie author subscription box. Um, so go ahead and subscribe at iLetterCast.com. Um, you can get access to other free and discounted stuff when you sign up, in addition to being entered into that random selection to win a free book sent straight to you um, from Nikita. Um, oh, and of course, Nikita, thank you so much for being here with us today. Um, for sharing your art with the world and for answering so many questions. I'm sure the audience got a kick out of getting to know you and hearing about your, uh, your story. I enjoyed it. Thank you very much for asking me. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> coming on the podcast, being the first person. For those of you who don't know, Nikita is actually my partner. Um, we're running this podcast from two separate rooms so we can um, have the Zoom format. Um, and didn't she do an amazing job? She was so nervous for this podcast um, episode, but I think this is probably the best pilot episode we could have done. So thank you so much <laughs> for being here. Um, and remember, you met them here first on Indie Author Connection Podcast, where you can read tomorrow's bestsellers today. I will see you next time. Bye. If you enjoyed today's interview and want to hear more by other indie authors, feel free to hit that subscribe button. 
We post new content every month on Indie Authors Connection, as well as access to free and paid content by myself and the other authors interviewed here on the show at ilettercast.com. That's I-L-E-T-T-E-R-C-A-S-T dot com. If you subscribe to our newsletter, you actually get a weekly update on all of the content that I'm working on, as well as plenty of free and paid content by other awesome small indie creators. And if you want to be featured, just shoot me an email through that website. Thanks again for listening. And hey, you're wonderful.